And now to our lab. It's time for some big body experiments. Some of them gory. This is not for the squeamish. Some extreme. It's freezing! So are you ready? Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today is about cells, and I'm using this modelling clay to... Zant, what are you doing? Well, I thought I'd take the opportunity to make some new creatures for my new aquarium, since the last one didn't go so well. Well, that is an understatement. You flooded the entire lab. <laughs> so we did agree, no more aquariums. Well, I didn't agree. Mm -hmm. Your body is made up of trillions of cells, and it makes new cells when old cells divide in half. This is a process called mitosis, and this happens to millions of cells around your body every second. Now, mitosis works like this. Chris, show me a new cell. Now, this cell will grow bigger and bigger while it makes a copy of all its contents, including its DNA. Then it checks everything is in order, and if it is, it splits itself in half making two new cells. And then the cycle begins again, producing four cells, then eight cells, then 16 cells, then 32, 64, 128, then 256, then 512. Well done. I think everyone gets the idea. This is what real mitosis looks like, sped up. Watch this cell as it splits in two. This is how lots of your body parts grow. But how do your bones get bigger? After all, they're mostly made of a mineral a bit like rock, and rocks don't divide. Zond, to understand this, we need a bone. One human bone coming up. Chris, we've got a few in here. What size are you looking for? I don't know, something about that long, a humerus, maybe? Come on out, humerus, come on, come with me, that's good. Now stand there next to Dr Chris. Right, Dr Chris, meet humerus, humerus, meet Dr Chris. Zand, this isn't humerus, this is Esther. Hi, Esther. Hi, Chris. Esther has broken her collarbone. How did you do that? My brother pushed me off a mini bike. Ouch! Is he in trouble? Yes. Good. Now, moving on from the collarbone, we can now see... The humerus, that's the arm bone. At the top of the humerus is the growth plate. It's made of a soft, squishy material, and there are cells there that produce cartilage. The cartilage then hardens up and turns into bone that's added in layers, and that is how your bones grow. Chris and my bones are not still growing, but Esther's are, and so are yours. Once you get to be an adult, your growth plates close up. Esther, thank you very much for coming into our lab and showing us your amazing arm x-ray. All right, humerus, back to the cupboard. Go on, off you go. Do you know, Chris, I've been thinking, why does it take so long to grow? I mean, waiting to get taller is just so boring. Well, that is a great question, Zant. Let's find out. To show you why your bones take years to grow and make you taller, Zand and I are going to make some bones. One femur each, to be precise. The leg bone. We'll both be using this plaster putty to represent the cartilage cells in the growth plate. It's not real bone, but it will set hard like the cartilage in your body. I'm going to be making my bone the natural way. I'm going to be making my bone the much more fun and quick way. I'm calling it the all-in-one, one-stop shop, overnight bone-making method. Catchy. I thought so. OK, Chris, are you ready? I am ready. I'm chucking all mine in this plastic tube to make the bone in one go. I'll be done in no time. No plastic tubes for me, Zant. I'm trying to be as true to how our bodies build bones in real life as I can. So I'm drying each layer, making it set firm before adding another. Well, I must say, my one-stop bone shop overnight method is really working out well. I'm getting a bit bored with how long this is taking you. I'm going to go and find something else to do. I can't believe Zahn thinks his bone is finished. This takes time. So this is a bit more like what happens in your body. The growth plate lays soft cartilage down on the top of the bone shaft. That cartilage then gradually is turned into bone and becomes hard. Oh, come on, Chris! We've got to finish here. I mean, that's growing about as fast as real humans. Zond, that is the whole point. I may not have made much, but this is almost as strong as real bone. Are you honestly telling me that this femur that you have made has the required structural stability? I absolutely am. Hmm. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's all going wrong! Zahn's bone is all floppy and hasn't set. If this was a real person, it would be a very weak femur, and they'd be flopping about on the ground. What a disaster! 
So we've shown you that the cells in your body multiply by a process called mitosis. This and the special growth plates at the end of your long bones help you grow. And we've shown you that growing bones has to take time, otherwise you'd end up with floppy soft ones. Well, I must say, Zahn, this is a much more responsible sea life diorama. No aquarium and no risk of flooding. I'll see you in the morning. Right. Swim time, everybody!